Welcome everyone this interesting question we have two circles of radius 3 and 2 cm touching each other inside a semi circle exciting part is with this limited data we have to find the radius of semi circle let's check this simple and elegant solution here point o is the center of semi circle and to start with let's join all the three centers of the circle pq po and oq and let's assume this length ao is a centimeter and ob is b centimeter so for our solution we'll first find the value of a plus b and then that a plus b will find in terms of radius of semi circle and then we'll solve the equation so let's first work out to find value of a plus b for that from point q let's draw perpendicular on pa and uh, here in this triangle pcq we'll apply pythagoras theorem for that cq length that is same as ab or a plus b pq length that is radius of blue circle plus radius of purple circle or 5 cm pc length so ca is same as qb length so pc will be your 3 minus 2 or 1 cm so applying pythagoras theorem we'll get a plus b whole square plus 1 square is 5 square taking one square on the other side a plus b whole square is 24 taking square root on both the side we'll get a plus b is 2 root 6 cm so now we'll find individual value of a and b in terms of r and we'll use this a plus b value to solve for r so let's remove all the construction we have done and work to find value of r to solve it further let's name this point of contact as point c and point d we know that two circles when they are touching each other that is this blue and brown circle then their centers that is point p and point o and their point of contact they all lie in a straight line now here cp length that is the radius of blue circle or 3 cm let's assume the radius of brown circle that is co length is r cm and thus po length will be r minus 3 same way here this point d q and o will lie in a straight line dq is 2 cm and qo that will be r minus 2 now in triangle pao applying pythagoras theorem we get 3 square plus a square is r minus 3 whole square 3 square is 9 and r minus 3 whole square applying a minus b whole square identity will get equation in this form now here 9 will get cancelled on both the side taking square root on both side will get value of a as square root of r square minus 6r now same way here looking at the triangle qbo now in this triangle applying pythagoras theorem we get b square plus 2 square is r minus 2 whole square now 2 square is 4 and here applying a minus b whole square identity we get equation and both the side 4 will get cancelled and will get value of b as square root of r square minus 4r now this individual value of a and b we can put in this our original equation so we'll get new equation in terms of r now to solve this we'll need some tricks from algebra to start with we'll do is squaring both the side now to open the brackets we need more space so let's first remove this diagram we don't need it at present now to solve it further let's apply a plus b whole square identity in lhs so a square so so this square root thing will get cancelled down so a square will be r square minus 6r plus b square plus 2 times of a into b is equals to 2 root 6 square is 24 now here simplifying further r square plus r square is 2 r square minus 10r and this bracket thing sorry in the square root will multiply both the term and simplify it so we'll get our equation in this form full equation we can divide by 2 to simplify it further in this form now to solve it further we have to get rid of the square root so let's take everything other than square root terms on the rhs we'll get equation in this form now to solve it we'll do is squaring both the side now on squaring both the side lhs the square root and square term will get cancelled so we'll get r is to power 4 minus 10r cube plus 24r square in rhs we'll apply formula of identity for a minus b plus c whole square so that will be a square plus b square plus c square minus 2ab plus 2ac minus 2bc now magic is 
here this terms r is to power 4 and r is to power 4 is getting cancelled r cube term is also getting cancelled down so simplifying it further we'll get a quadratic equation in terms of r and this quadratic we can solve using quadratic formula so we'll get value of r as 60 plus minus 40 root 3 by 23 here the negative sign we can avoid because with negative we are getting value of r as negative which is not possible so value of r is 60 plus 40 root 3 by 23 which on simplification will get r as 6.22 centimeter and thus the radius of our original brown circle is 6.22 centimeter i hope you enjoyed the solution i will see you in next video till then tata bye bye